Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. I'm excited to get to a couple of these topics. So before we get to National Days and Netflix and all this stuff, good news. Um, so yesterday we took part in a drive-by birthday. Have you heard of these, Candy? I have at the beginning of the pandemic. Mm-hmm. So still going on, as well they should. We should not be gathering in crazy birthday parties uh, together. Uh, so... Uh, one of our very close family friends had a drive-by birthday, a surprise for their 10-year-old son, Candy. Aw, nice. Yes. Now, side note, um, he was so surprised. Like, the smile on his face as we were driving by, it was so cute. He was so excited. Aw, that is yeah. nice. Yeah, so, and he's now, such a good a kid. this is a friend of Abigail? Uh, th- so this is the brother of one of Leah's best friends. Ah. Uh. Gotcha. All right. And we're very close with the family. Uh, and and uh, the boy's name is Cameron, and he's so cute. He's such a good kid. And the look on his face was great. But the best part is, Candy, in good times, when the pandemic's over, this is how birthday parties should be. Honestly. Drive by? Oh, my God. Drive by, roll down the window, lots of smiles, honk the horn, here's your gift, and you're out. It was no amazing. Bag? Did they hand you a goodie bag? <laughs> no. No, no, I didn't need no. a goodie bag. Oh. I didn't need a goodie bag. All right, all right. Fantastic. And by the way, we live like two blocks away from them, too, so it was perfect, Candy. That's your um, kind of party. This was my kind of birthday party. The travel to get there, do the party, and come back was like two and a half minutes, Candy. It was Unbelievable. <laughs> So the drive-by birthday was good. Uh, This is something else I wanted to bring up. Uh, Have you seen the pictures of the Mars rover, Candy? I have. Amazing. 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 So excited about that. Amazing. And uh, just watching some of the videos online, and there was a video on that website, the Good News Movement, of the guy... Uh, who who helped land the rover? He's in his house on a computer, and Crazy. he was cr- he was crying because this is like the fourth one he's landed. Candy, Ugh. it's like yeah. Um, another story I wanted to get your uh, thought on. You saw the uh, the flight in Colorado where the engine blew off the airplane. I cannot believe that plane landed safely. I can't believe it. Amazing. Uh, to those pilots that uh, took care of, the, uh, of those I passengers. Mean, what? Yeah, that's it. I can't believe it. Maybe there was some sort of divine intervention. Who knows? Maybe. And what's more, even more crazy, is the engine, the parts that fell off, didn't hit anybody on the ground, Ken. No, but they did do some damage to area homes. And one guy in his house, he said, I knew that was a part of a plane's engine. Yeah. And the plane landed. It's just crazy. Amazing. Uh, so I want to get back to Netflix. So w- one of the top trending shows on Netflix is a new one called Behind Her Eyes. And it looked, it said like psychological thriller. And I'm like, eh, am I really in the mood for this? But you watched the first episode. Again. Really liked it. Really liked it. Right. And I believe one of the girls starring in it is Bono's daughter. I wish I knew her name, but I, I okay. don't. Okay. All right. You could look that up. Behind Her Eyes. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I, 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 I've seen the trailer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out now. Uh, as per your recommendation. I Kim. really liked it. I would have watched more, but I couldn't pay attention anymore. I had things I had to do. So now, I will get back to it. You also need to uh, take me up on my suggestion of Firefly Lane. You're going to like that one, Candy. All right. All right. That's also sitting in the top 10 on Netflix. Firefly Lane, good chick flick show for you. Um, I watched a 10-year-old mob movie called Kill the Irishman. And it's one of the better mob movies I've ever seen, Ken. Really? I don't think I've ever seen that one. It's based on the true story of Danny Green from Cleveland who uh, takes on the mafia. And, you know, it's a whole, I don't, it's a long description, but it's really good. I recommended it to my sister Amy and her husband Paul, and they watched it and they thought it was great. They really enjoyed the film. So it's called Kill the Irishman. And I watched the new movie that's getting a lot of buzz. It's called I Care A Lot. This is the one where they uh, defraud the elderly and send them to old age homes, Candy, and take their money and stuff. I don't like Uh, this. No, this is a scripted film. It is scripted. Uh, It is um, now a lot of it, I'm sure, is true. I'm sure this happens quite a bit. But the movie is is a scripted film with actors and actresses. 
you will like this film. It's uh, it's a good film. It's trending, I think, one or two on you Netflix know what the new right film now. I hear is coming out. What? Find Lucia. Stop. Yeah. They make oh, a movie out of it. Ah, you, you, you're talking about my mother-in-law story. I Stop. Am. Yes, I am. I can't uh, get it out of my head. I will be tracking her on the Life 360 app today to oh, to my see. Goodness. And we can retell that story tomorrow for those who are late. Or if, if you want to hear take notes, what she's doing today, it's very I important. will, I will, and I suggest anyone who doesn't know my mother-in-law story from earlier this morning. We talked about seven forty-eight. Um, the full recap will be up later at, after twelve o'clock at licountry.com. I suggest you click on it and listen because it was some day Saturday. I will tell you. I've never heard her do something like this before. I've got to know more. Yes. Uh, so before I get on to national days here real quick, you got to watch, uh, I think you'll enjoy kill the Irishman if you like mob movies and you gotta, gotta watch. I care a lot on Netflix. It's a brand new All movie. Right. It's trending. You got to see it. Uh, it, it's a good one. Uh, national California day today. Hello, California. Hello, California. It's national cook a sweet potato day today. I Candy. think I will. And it's national margarita day today. I think I will. <laughs> You're a, a margarita girl, aren't you? And a margarita. Yay. Sounds like a good combo, by the Cuss. way. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple of good news stories just to get you through the uh, through the day here. A couple in Texas ordered groceries last week because it was icy and everything. The delivery driver crashed into their flower bed and could not get the car out. So they invited her in and she stayed with them for five days, Candy. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Because the weather was so bad. Wow. Five days. How about a grocery store near Austin who lost power with everything going on and people were in there trying to buy supplies so they let everyone take whatever they wanted for free. They said, here, take it. Love it's that. yours. Wow, yep. wow, wow. An Italian restaurant in Plano, Texas giving out free meals to anyone who needs one. Well done by love them. That. Mm-hmm. And I love this story. 7,500 healthcare workers, remember, got vaccinated and got to go to the Super Bowl? You know yes. that, right? Yes, I well, do. Well, it was fate. Because three of those doctors left Tampa and were on a flight flying back to L.A. when a woman on board had an emergency and couldn't breathe candy. Oh, so my goodness. the pilot says, are there doctors? on?" The- yes, there are doctors. There's actually three really. And by the way, they're all specialty doctors in cardio whatever, right? So wow. the, thre- the three of them, th- this woman had like a collapsed lung, okay? Mm. The three of them spring into action. They keep her stable. They make an emergency landing in Houston. The paramedics arrive, get her to the hospital, and they saved her life, Candy. That's incredible. What a story that is. Side note, side note, these doctors got back on another flight, kept on to L.A., got to L.A., went straight to the hospital, and went and did their shift, Candy. Now that is a doctor. Yes. Or three or four. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, that'll get you through the day when you're sitting on the I couch. I saved a life on my flight home, and I went mm. right to work to save more. That's right. Can you imagine? We're debating what to watch on Netflix and eating yes. Doritos. Exactly. You know? There you Should go. I move the snow or let God take care of it? <laughs> my country, 96.1. Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.